Okay. Guys, listen to me. So we're gonna we're gonna react to the last of what what's currently the last of Gemini Home Entertainment. These guys uh, do some really good videos. We're gonna we're gonna start off with games for kids. These are the last four. So this is a uh, Gemini Home Entertainment. I'm gonna jump straight into this. Okay, we'll have a fantastic time. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Strap on, strap in, guys, because we're going to have a fantastic time. Optical video. Optical. Are you bored? Need some new fun? Games to play? While you're in work? Games for Kids, a list of fun classic games to play with friends. Game one, hide and go seek. One player is chosen as the seeker, while everyone else are hiders. Yarth Queen. The seeker counts to 20. Then searches for the hiders. Counts to 20? Oh, yay! The last hider to be found wins. I remember one time hiding so well that they couldn't catch me and I was still in there like like half an hour afterwards. Freeze tag. One player is chosen as it while everyone else are runners. The social distancing guys. It has to chase and tag the runners when a runner is tagged so they freeze. This is gonna, it's gonna throw in some kind of weird stuff like the, the it. Runners. If a frozen runner is tagged by another runner, they get to play again. Ah, okay. Oh no. Tag. Well done, man. This is very, um. Yeah, well, I'm guessing this, this uh, ARG is based in like the 80s. Sardines! Oh, there's an episode on uh, Inside Number 9 about this. Sardines are similar to Hide and Go Seek, except one player is chosen as the hider and everyone else is Seekers. The Seekers count to 20 while the hiders f hide hider hides as fast as they can. So it's multiple people against one person. When a Seeker finds the hider, they try their best to hide with them. Oh, okay. That's why it's called Sardines. Oh, Jesus, they're all dead. They're all get, get The game ends when everybody is hiding. That's a good uh, program, by the way. It's on Netflix, guys. It's called Inside Number Nine. I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. If you like, like, Black Mirror, like, Sherlocky type things, you'll like it. Feed the Woods. Oh, this is a good game. All players wait until it is very dark and your parents have fallen asleep. Oh, this sounds good. Sneak outside very quietly and gather all of your friends. I'm liking where this is going. Go into the woods. If you go down to the woods today, walk until you cannot see the lights anymore. Scream on the t on the scream on the top of your lungs. I don't know how you meant to do that. Scream on the top of your lungs. Okay, it's the crying child from FNAF. We've solved it, guys. It was a tree walker all along. Oh, hello. What's that? These guys have a fantastic way of setting the atmosphere, don't they? It's really good. Like, it's not, it doesn't try too hard to be scary, but it's just eerie. <coughs> oh! Oh, the camera moved. Oh, the police are here. So that's why there's, like, faces in the woods, because the, the, the little, uh, these tree walkers. The game ends when the forest is fed. 
So you're saying that trees? Oh, Jesus Christ! Almost became a Jill sandwich. So you're saying that, are they saying that the trees on planet Earth are actually skinwalkers or, or tree walkers? Yeah. Found you. Earth. Wow. Games for kids. Created by Remy Abode. Very good. Let's move on. Advanced mining vehicle. Oh, they're going to find some weird ass stuff in the ground, aren't they? Let's go. Nomad. North Alberta Mining and Development. Dick. That's what this just reminds me of. After years of development, Nomad is pr proud to unveil the future of mining technology. Oh, God. The remote operated compact traveler is the vehicle to revolutionize mining. Controlled entirely via a computer, the ROCT makes it safe to traverse areas normally inaccessible. Did that say? I don't know. Oh, God. Equipped with four treads on the vehicle's body, difficult terrain is no longer an issue. With highly advanced maneuverability, there's no need to worry if you get caught between a rock and a hard place. Well, that looks fun, doesn't it? Let's go down. Let's go explore the cave. The ROCT used two high-powered hydraulic drills to maneuver quickly and efficiently. A rotating camera attached to the vehicle provides a live video feed of the ROCT. The camera can pivot 360 degrees horizontally and 90 degrees vertically via the control terminal. That's something there. It's a rock. Uh-oh. Is it going to turn its head? God, this... A compact microphone provides live audio of the ROCT surroundings. This is especially handy for listening for hazards such as running water or nests. The text at the bottom of the display shows the ROCT status and depth. It's like Minecraft. Mining away. They're near the ocean, aren't they? They've just went into a cave in the ocean. Or near the ocean. Bruh. Compromised. Oh, it's, look at the depth. It's going right underground. We're going to go meet Cthulhu, mate. Have you not got a flashlight? Rebooting. Idle. Oh, God. Oh, don't do that, mate. Don't look down. Oh, I'd be terrified if I was uh, controlling this thing. How no. I'll throw the freaking controller at the commander's face and say, F this. An industrial grade battery, long life, special case, and keeps the battery secure and allows for a reboot in the case that the vehicle is compromised. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that doesn't look fun. <sighs> so eerie, man. What is that stuff? Getting subnautica vibes. Always being carried, I think. It's like a fungus, a fungi. Great to have at parties, by the way. Wait, what the hell? Blood pumps through the garden's veins. The crops mature. So they're saying that Earth 
is it in itself a being, which I guess isn't completely false. Yeah, zoom out, bro. What the hell is that? It's Jesus. It's come to take us away. It's the rapture. Okay, maybe not. Oh. Okay. So, oh, there's multiple of them. Lovely jubbly. There we are. Well, let's just leave the robot there and forget what we ever saw. Burn any evidence and shoot everyone in the room. No one needs to know about this. Oh, God, it's been... It's stuck. Well, well, well. Shifting tendon shape anatomy. Mutation... Mutation of the heart. I don't know what it's trying to say. What are you trying to say to me? Mate, you need to get a pull focus on this thing. It's all good giving it a zoom and stuff, but this is awful. Oh, God. Oh, it's going right under now. Look, look at that depth. Low signal. Wow. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Yeah. I'd be like, in honesty, if I saw this, I, I, if I was in a room of like, you know, uh, executives and that, and I'm, you know, this is the, the trainee tape or whatever. They need approval. We need approval before sending it off. And then I ended that. Uh, no, and someone ended and said, turned to me and go, so what do you think? I'd go. What the fuck was that? Do you mind explaining yourself to me, please? Because it looks like there's demons living in the earth. Oh, but the robot functionality, though, is fantastic. Don't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? It's amazing. Never mind the demons living under the soil. Don't worry, that's just a malfunction. We'll sort that out next time. Right, let's move on to the next one. Deep-rooted disease. That kind of fits in with the last video, I guess. Okay. Warner Area, Department of Health. Deep-root disease. An educational film. Ca you watch capitalism. Deep-rooted. We hate Roots, contraction, bulbs, diagnosis, sprouts. And, uh, me and sprouts don't really get along. It turns me into like a farting machine. Ugh. Roots begin to form from the underside of bulbs once rooting stage begins. The speed of the growth increases as rooting stage progresses. The base of the root swells as growth continues and the surrounding area becomes discolored. The roots will continue forming until coming into contact with a bone. Once contact is made, the roots are able to spread freely. Wait, what? Contact with a bone? What are you talking about, you sausage? Hi? What kind of fucking plants are you growing? The following demonstration will explain how an individual may contract deep root disease. Oh, is this a disease? Oh, I don't like the look of this. Now, what we see here. So, what we see here is Meat Rocket 89 about to enter bulbs. Typically appearing on any normally exposed parts of the body, arms, legs, neck, etc. Bulbs, the first visible sign of deep root disease. Okay, so it is a disease, so that's why there's bone. I thought they was talking about, like, growing plants. I was thinking, what, what kind of plants have bones in them? Anyway. Bulbs can range from 2 centimeters to 10 centimeters across, meaning the growth may remain unnoticed. For the first few hours of appearance, bulbs feel hollow and may be pressed down with ease. 
Once rooting stage begins, the ball will become solid and those affected may experience pain where pressure is applied to the area. Oh my goodness. The area will become inflamed as rooting stage progresses and small sores may appear around the affected area. As rooting stage reaches its climax, these lumps will begin to form more rapidly. Inflammation then abruptly halts as sprouting begins. Right. Okay. Diagnosis. If you believe somebody you know has contracted deep root disease, proceed with this very simple diagnosis test. Check for a bulb on exposed skin, for erratic muscle spasms, their home for unrecognizable smells. Wait, what? Their home? Ask if they can recall their mother's name. What? If they have stopped dreaming. If they have felt new bones. Well, this is just what is happening. If four or more of the, these tests describe an individual you know, they have become something else, proceed with protective safety measures. Or by burning them, offering them up to the, 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 the motherland, the sprout motherland. Uh oh. There's always something here. Always. Oh, Jesus, this doesn't look... I don't think that can be cured at the, uh, at your local GP. Yeah, just water, just water it for a little bit and it should be all right. How are you meant to destroy this? A bit of weed killer. Oh my god! Was that teeth that I just saw? There's definitely something here. Deep root disease. Is that an actual thing? Deep root disease. This is created by one person as well. This is amazing. Okay, here's the last video, guys. The last video. Let's go. Oh, Danger Computing returns. Monthly progress reports. Project information. Project information. Project name. Okay. Alexis Moore. Project Infra Infrared. 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 84% completed. The client is active. Interesting. The study of assisted technological progress via artificial computer learning for the following purposes. To predict and prevent future technological failures, to advance in the field of technological discovery, especially computer processing and memory. Computer processing, predictive advancement, failure avoidance, ACL communication. Computer processing. Developments throughout the month of October have led to a drastic increase in graphical capabilities for Regnad brand personal computers. The above image displays a video game demonstration created to showcase the graphical capabilities possible when with recent advancements. Damn, man, they're ahead of us. Okay. Predictive advancement. Gradual improvements to the ACL influence have led the predictive advancement accuracy to reach unprecedented heights. That is near good. A total of 15 simulations have been run during the month of October, with each test giving new insight into unprecedented technological advancements. With the help of the ACL and our client, we are expected to pass all of the competitors within the year in the field program, RAM and processing power. By running hypothetical scenarios through the ACL system, we have successfully avoided 23 technological failures in Regnad Computing's future. 
This would not have been possible without the support and wisdom from our client who spearheaded our artificial computer learning projects. Okay, what is happening right now? There's some kind of theory behind this. Obviously, MatPat would know what's going on here. All communications made with our client throughout the month of October have been recorded via the ACR monitor room and will now be showcased on this tape. So are they communicating with the aliens? Is this like... Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Speaking room online. Entering prompt. Earth. Client ready for speaker. So the aliens. Oh my goodness. Hello, it's Sauron, it's Lord of the Rings. Receiving iteration. This is like that game, isn't it? Uh, Stories Untold. Mary sees the gateway die. Sleeping ones are eaten whole. The vessel flows into the moor. The jaw unhinges. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you, Mr. Alien Man. It was nice. We'll check in with the reports at the end of the month. Just letting you know how Regnad does. Receiving iteration. Oh, okay. We're not done yet. Okay. What else? New things roam the feeding ground. The harbinger guards in vain. Mary hears a creaking sound. The hungry eye is welcomed. This makes me feel on an edge. It makes me feel horrible. I don't like it. Jack. Jack and Jill went up the hill. Jack is with us now. Who's Jack? Oof, that doesn't look nice. Jack is us now. Final words. Ensure the progress made throughout the month of October has drastically increased our technological capabilities. Our client influence on the ACR system has allowed the tremendous... So the client is the alien. We expect to meet our client in person in as little as seven months. Oh, okay, is that like a, a teaser for, for seven months from now, yeah? Well, fantastic. Well, that's Gemini over for like, I don't know when. Well, that was something. Now... Uh, brilliant stuff and now i feel very uncomfortable in my own skin so there we go there's free anxiety for you there guys brilliant stuff jesus wept <laughs>